Hello everyone. How are you? It's good to be back. And I first and foremost want to thank all my subscribers for not leaving, not abandoning my channel. And it was quite a good surprise to see that and actually see an increase of, 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 of uh, my subscribers as as well as a you know um comments and messages asking about me and trying to know if i was doing well and so on and so forth nothing special happened it's just life the way it is and uh i was um very much busy uh work life and you know the usual i didn't um stop building models or anything i just had to a lot of other things to do and, and actually have been act very active in one specific build that we'll talk about very soon uh as it is thank you guys for keeping uh in touch thank you guys for staying with me in this channel and um, actually making me feel as a valid part of this uh hobby and this um this community so the first thing i want to talk about is my collaboration with dn models um so midco from dn models commissioned me with the building a mark for male um to use with one of their paint mask sets and some of their chains now the kit i chose was the 35th scale tamiya uh, mark for male uh basically because it was a simple kit to build and i would mainly focus into painting stages and weathering and all that I ended up by filming the whole thing um, and we're going to feature um, a full build uh, series on Midco's channel, DN Models, and I'm going to feature um, in-depth tutorials in my own channel. Therefore, we're going to make the most of this build for uh, both of us and have uh, hopefully uh, very good quality content for you guys. Now, I must say this is one of those projects with that, you know, I just got in thinking it would be, you know, through and through, simple, and it wouldn't really, you know, be hard or not, not as hard as I thought. And it ended up by blowing in my face, so to speak, um, because though the kit is extremely simple, uh, the weathering to be taken to the level that I really wanted to take it to was far more complicated than I anticipated. Uh, of course, I had to um, have some, you know, um, patience and uh, also um, after not, you know, not being able, after realizing I wouldn't be able to be always building and, and working on the kit because of, you know, the circumstances of life, um, I sort of lost perspective for a while and if, if it wasn't for a few friends that helped me with, with the, with the, um, um, you know, looking at the project and kind of uh, helping me uh, weed out the details that, you know, should be uh, more addressed or not, or if they were good enough or not, um, I probably wouldn't have uh, had such a good result. And, and uh, in that regard, I am very grateful to them. So um, that will be coming out pretty soon. Uh, or at least the start of it will be pretty soon and then as soon as um, I have the series for Mitko's uh, channel ready I'll be starting the uh, more in-depth tutorials for the for my own channel and for you guys to to uh, watch another thing that was left in the sidelines was my RP models interview now I had promised you guys back in the end of 2015 that I was making, I was recording a, an interview with my friend Mafalda, and we did record that interview, which I ended up by, you know, never uh, publishing or never editing. And I still uh, think it's pretty relevant, in fact, more relevant now that the company is actually, you know, uh, grown a little bit and gotten more notor notoriety so i'm still going to produce that that interview and i'm going to publish it soon on, on my channel and i hope you guys uh, forgive me for my delay but also appreciate the effort that these guys and the dedication that these guys put into their models and in, in how far they take it basically so last year i also started working with the kit maker network uh, collaborating with them and a few builds. I will be basically um, producing a few videos on those that will be shared on the Kitmaker network. Um, part of that starts with the Mark IV itself. Um, and I've used 
uh, a lot of products that uh, came to me via uh, Kitmaker Network, especially the weathering products. Basically, I was testing a lot of wilder stuff on the on the Mark IV, and I gotta say, I'm very pleased with the results. And also, uh, I'm going to build a Panzer IV with the Panther F turret, which I know is a very hated kit because it's uh, uh, hardly even a paper Panzer, but it was apparently one of the ideas that the um, German engineers considered at the time as a um, maybe a stopgap measure to get more, to field more powerful um, guns uh, in, in uh, Panzer IV chassis. Uh, so, you know, I like my odd, weird subjects, so I'm going to take on that one pretty soon, and I'm going to try and uh, present to you guys a very good uh, model as much as I can put it together, and maybe even some tutorials out of it, some, some ideas out of it. So, in that regard, I hope you guys like that as well. So don't be surprised if you start to see uh, some of these videos with the Kitmaker Network logo, which means this is also being shared on Armorama. Now about the group builds. Um, so, you know, stubborn as I am, uh, I'm going to finish these uh, group builds. Of course, I'm going to take an eternity to finish them as usual. I am really not good with deadlines in that regard, but um, I will finish them. Uh, the first one I want to address is the Nigel Wells North Africa group build. Now, that was a group build like three years ago, and maybe even more. I, I don't really remember anymore, but it was a long, long time ago. Now, I want to finish that group build because I like the subject, and I haven't done a Tiger One in like 10 years or something like that. And I chose a 48 skill uh, Tiger One. Now, it's, it's a really old group build but it started my itching to try and a few new things. So um, I basically uh, pimped up, so to speak, uh, my Tiger One. I, um, uh, you know, I added the Aber Photo Wedge set to it and uh, also um, new tracks uh, from Frule. Um, I've also added uh, some uh, bits and bobs here and there like weld seams, um, uh, well, well, beads, and also um, a barrel and um, some textures, some reworking of the of the kit itself. Uh, very nothing too extreme. Uh, that maybe the ext most extreme thing that I did to it was uh, I rebuilt the entire turret basket with some copper foil and uh, some solder because I did not like. And, and I really thought the, the previous turret basket, the plastic one was really dull and ugly and rigid. And uh, to me, I mean, I don't know, it just seems, I, it seems to me that if there's some damage to the model, I can basically tell a better story. <laughs> so forgive me, purists, I apologize. But you know me, I like to beat the shit out of my models. So that's it. So that's uh, basically what I did with the Tiger One. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a few images of it, and as you can see, I did, you know, basically a few changes here and there, which I think will be um, turning this kit into a little bit of a better piece than it could be if it was just, um, you know, out of the box, so to speak. Another group build that I'm uh, still uh, uh, lacking. The finishing is, of course, the Stug Life group build, and all I need to do with that is finish the groundwork, and um, uh, I fixed the entire uh, model. Um, the kit needed some fixing, as the tracks were uh, had a few extra links that shouldn't be there, so I just basically um, changed that. Um, there were some comments on my uh, previous videos of this series that uh, addressed that and you know they were right um the guys that mentioned it they were absolutely right i just took about i don't know one or two links on each each run and they fit it perfectly the sag is right and it's not um overdone and it looks much better indeed so that was it i also fixed some of uh, some of the links that were falling apart with some brass rod from some frules and 
improved a little bit of the weathering also added some storage to it very simple stuff nothing really out of the ordinary i made something some things with some putty some uh, green stuff basically um like um you know like the the flag and some tarps and some rolled tarp and uh, some basic stuff but i think it actually uh looks better this way and hopefully it'll be um finished this year as a in-between project so to speak between all of the other projects i have there are some other buddy builds and group builds that i still need to 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 go on but all of those have been sort of neglected um so basically what i need to do is take some more off my plate before i address those one of them was my uh char 2c build which backfired completely on me i had a vision for the model and i failed at it utterly so i will be probably stripping that entire model down and restarting all over again with the painting and weathering and all that so when i do that uh maybe some more um tutorials and stuff come out of that let's see i think it provides a lot of interesting um weathering such a model and um it would just be it's just a subject that i love so who knows when i'll do it but uh hopefully i'll do it uh some of the older group builds i haven't touched yet such as the um, um d-day uh russell goslin d-day group build but um i haven't forgotten it and i have all of those models saved in you know for uh, when I can just pick them up and restart it. It's a really big, big, big uh, model. It's got a huge scenario and it's it needs a lot of attention. So I need to really take off of my bench a number of things before I can address that one and give it my full and divided attention. So as soon as I can, I'll get to it as long as uh, time permits, of course, as well as other group builds such as the BF-109 one that I have with Will Patterson and Eden Candler, and a few others that are probably slipping my mind right now. I'm not going to um, accept any any new, um, or better saying, not going to enter any new uh, group builds as had uh, as I had said last year. Although I did commit a sin, and in last year's um, uh, Barkus build, I did start a Panzer III, which I haven't finished yet. But it's going to be out of the box, very simple, nothing out of the ordinary, just some, just for participation's sake, so to speak, and um, more on that in the future as well. But uh, I don't know when I'll finish it. It's too much stuff and very little time. I hope you guys understand this. I hope you guys uh, forgive me for not um, being able to um, produce as much as I, you know, would like to. So. That being said, I hope you do like what I do, and uh, please, um, if you do like it, uh, just stick around and see what I have in store for you guys. I hope you like um, some of these uh, images I've shown you here, and i see you in my next video. Keep on modeling. <laughs>